So hi everyone and welcome to this video on Wold's decomposition theorem for uh, VAR. So uh, we're going to discuss this uh, theorem or this representation and it has something to do with uh, how we can represent uh, VAR in terms of the lag polynomial and determine whether or not the VAR is stationary. So say that we have a VAR P in its reduced form. So a VAR P looks something like this. Say you have Y T and that's some function of uh, a vector of constants A naught plus A one Y T minus one plus A two Y T minus two plus so on plus A P Y T minus P plus U T, okay? Now, what if you recall, okay, we can write this in lag operator notation, okay, writing this in lag operator notation, and we get something like, uh, so notice all of these terms, okay, have yt's in them because this is a var, so it's a function of the lag values of the, uh, the, uh, the endogenous variables in the system. So what we can do is we can isolate this one. So we can express this in lag order, order notation. So this is I n or an identity matrix minus A one L because it's the first lag minus uh, A two L squared because it's the second lag minus A cube L cube and so on until we get to A P L P times y t. So these just denote the lag values of um, of y t. And that's going to be equal to a naught plus u t. So this is our, uh, our uh, lag operator notation form of our reduced form var that we have. Now, we can rewrite this further in something called lag, okay, lag polynomial form, lag polynomial form. And all that is, is that this entire thing here, okay, that entire thing, this is A, L, Y, T, and that's equal to A naught plus U, T. And this is what you call that A, L, Y, uh, that A, L there, it's called your lag, okay, polynomial. Now, in order for a var to be stationary, the polynomial of the lag operator, which is this one, AL, must be, okay, for VAR to be stationary, for VAR to be stationary, this polynomial, polynomial, okay, must be invertible. So we discussed this before with the AR model, and since the VAR is just a generalization of an AR model, then this must be invertible. Okay. Okay. And that polynomial is invertible if all the uh, NP roots or the roots of that polynomial okay, are outside of the imaginary unit circle. So in general, this is a generalization of the characteristic equation and the conditions of stationarity in an ARP model. In particular, it means that um, the determinant, okay, the determinant of that polynomial, so just to refresh, that's this one, A2L squared minus and so on, minus APLP, okay, should not be equal to zero since it's invertible. And what we can do is, if a var is stationary, so if a var, if a var is stationary, a vector, or our vector y t, can be expressed as a sum, sum of all the past white noise shocks. White, white noise shocks which are ut so that's our disturbance using okay a vector moving average or in essence a moving average infinity representation so how do we do this okay consider um 
we have the reduced form model, okay, say that we have below, so that's yt, for example, is equal to mu, or this can this is essentially a naught, right? So your uh, vector of constants, plus the inverted uh, lag polynomial operator times ut, right? So essentially, from here, from this equation, okay, all we did is we inverted this one, we inverted this one to be able to uh, uh, isolate out yt so that we can take al out there. And we express this one. So we just rewrote that as some form mu and we get this form here. Okay. And if you express, if you expand this, that's just yt is equal to mu plus your identity matrix plus... Uh, some parameters say psi 1L plus psi 2L squared plus so on times UT. And that goes on forever since this is some uh, infinity representation of a moving average model. And it's the same, okay, so this is equivalent to you writing it as YT is equal to mu plus UT plus psi 1 UT minus 1 plus psi 2, ut minus 2, and so on. Okay, It's an infinity representation. Hence, it's merely an infinite sum of the lag error terms. And that decomposition okay, of the value of yt is known as Wold's decomposition theorem. In this representation, we have uh, our size. Okay, It's an n by n matrix. Okay, matrix of lag values of the error term. Since they're, uh, they're matrix of lag values of the error term, okay, it's a matrix of coefficients rather, so coefficients, okay. Since they're coefficients of lag values of error terms, these are essentially moving average coefficients, right? So these are moving average coefficients. And these matrices uh, describe the responses over time of each endogenous variable yt to each sequence of shocks ut. And it's in, this, uh, it's in this representation that we can actually obtain something called impulse response functions, which we'll discuss more in another video. So all that is to see is this, um, this moving average infinity representation is essentially what we know as Wald's decomposition uh, representation.